Morning. How long you been up? Not long. Your side of the bed was cold. Yeah, I got up to see if Bethany was all right. I was going to do your breakfast. You should get ready for work. In a minute. I'm Todd. What? Nothing. I, I haven't brushed my teeth. So I'm not allowed to bring you breakfast and I'm not allowed to kiss you? I didn't you. say that. It's, it's just you're not normally like this. You think I've got something to prove? <sighs> Maybe. I don't know. You don't know if you believe me or Nick? I do believe you. It's just... It's just what? Todd, be honest with me. Sarah, I'm being honest. I love you. I know that you love me. But do I fancy you? <laughs> yeah, I do. Like mad. How many times do I have to tell you? I always have. And I always will. Take your time. Sorry, Todd, I overslept. I believe you. So don't call me the Celtic Tiger for nothing. Uh, let's get this shop open, shall we? What's going on? They've uh, overslept. Highly recommended if things are a bit iffy between you, if you know what I mean. Kieran! Oh, we don't get much chance to sleep in with this one, do we? Well, that's where you're going wrong, then. I'll see you later, OK? Stick these out, will you? Hiya. Hi. I can come back later if there's a problem. No problem. Sarah and Beth, are they OK? I told you the other day. They're fine. We'll have to pay later. We haven't got this all sorted yet, so... How about you and Nick? Have you sorted your differences out? What differences? Well, I know there's something going on. I mean, I assumed that uh, Nick was taking Sarah's part, so... Have you two fallen out? <laughs> Did it look like we've fallen out just now? No, but... No buts, Mrs Platt. We're happy. End of story. I don't think that's true. Todd won't tell me anything, but I know there's something wrong. Well, if you were so worried, then why didn't you come to me about it instead of them? Because I knew you'd react like this. Sarah, I know something's upsetting you very much. Please, please talk to me if you need to. Mum, will you just push off and mind your own business? <sighs> oh, i better go and check on Beth. Hey, hey. In a minute. Hosting sauce was to die for. I've been waiting for this all day. Is your duck all right? I love you more than I've loved anyone. Yeah, I, I know, Todd. Yours looks a bit greasy. Do you want a bit of mine? I want to be with you for the rest of my life. Hello? Snake, can you let me in? Great. Don't worry, I won't let him have another go at you. Can fight me on battle, Sarah. <laughs> right, nice, cosy takeaway. That's a surprise. What do you want? Didn't you believe what I said about him? I believe what happened happened. Then what are you doing back with him? Because it didn't mean anything. Sarah, he can't be a little bit gay. First thing, you're a little bit pregnant with Bethany. I think you better go, mate. Oh, so I'm back to being your mate now, am I? Yeah, well, I'm Todd's girlfriend, and I am telling you, he is not gay. Who do you think you are? You come back from Canada and suddenly you know my boyfriend better than I do. And you're watching him 24-7, are you? I don't have to. I trust him. <laughs> Listen, my mum made me choose between her and Todd. I don't want to have to do the same with you. I don't want to see you have your heart broken. I'll go. What are you trying to do? We're happy. No, I'll tell you what you are. You're lying to yourself and she's too scared of the truth. She's told you the truth. She believes me. Only because she's staked everything on you and she will do anything not to spoil that picture. No, because she knows it was one stupid moment and it meant nothing. Except we both know it's a damn sight more than that, don't we? No, it wasn't. Well, now I'm watching you, Todd. And the next time nothing happens, you are going to regret hurting my sister. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> 